Meanwhile, members of the Senior Staff Association of Nigerian Universities and the Non-Academic Staff Union of Universities, Federal University Gasho Chapter, have staged a peaceful protest to demand the payment of their withheld four-month salaries by the federal government. They are appealing to the president to come to their rescue. Correspondent Michael Oshoma has more details on that, but we'll bring you more of that in the subsequent bulletins. The first and second batch of the pilgrims from Jigawa State have arrived at Dutse International Airport to mark in the beginning of their return journey after performing the Hajj exercise in the Holy Land. Yusuf Isa has more details. After a successful Hajj exercise, the Jigawa State pilgrims have returned home marking the end of the spiritual journey for 1,296 pilgrims who performed the Islamic rites in Saudi Arabia. The pilgrims were airlifted from Tigal State to Saudi Arabia and their return journey began with arrival of the first flight carrying approximately 410 pilgrims while the second bus carried 500 pilgrims. The final flight is expected to arrive with over 380 pilgrims. Upon arrival, the Nigerian Immigration Service conducted screening on all pilgrims to ensure a smooth process. The National Coordinator of National Hajj Commission in Tigal State, Rabiat Nyaku, who was among the pilgrims, confirmed that the next flight is scheduled to arrive shortly, carrying the remaining pilgrims. Abu Bakar Sani, a member of the Amiral Hajj Committee in Tigal State commended the exemplary behavior of Tigal State pilgrims during the exercise. The first flight came with 410 Tigal pilgrims and we are expecting one, inshallah. The conduct of uh, Tigal pilgrims among other pilgrims in uh, Saudi Arabia and the conduct of the Hajj is uh, something remarkable. And um, they outstandingly differ from other people in the sense that they've been well trained and uh, they conduct themselves in the very best way. And uh, in particular, by following the rules and regulations set by all authorities wherever they find themselves. The successful return of the pilgrims marked the end of the spiritual journey and they are expected to reunite with their families and share their experience. Yusuf Isa, TBC News, Tigawa. Well, that's it on TBC News at 1. For more updates on the stories you are monitoring, you can visit our website on www.tbcnews.tv. You can also follow us on our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, and on X at TBC News and YouTube. We are live. 